To date, we have explored less than 5% of the ocean. The ocean is the lifeblood of Earth, covering more than 70% of the planet's surface driving weather, regulating temperature and ultimately supporting all living organisms. The average depth of the ocean is around 12,000 feet. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep, and is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep is approximately 36,200 feet deep. So with this knowledge we should keep an open mind about what could be laying at the bottom of the ocean. The Baltic Sea Anomaly is a 60 meter diameter circular rock-like formation on the floor of the Northern Baltic Sea. It was discovered by Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Asberg and their Swedish Ocean X diving team in June 2011. The discovery was made on the 19th of June 2011 during a dive in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland while searching for an old shipwreck. The group describes themselves as treasure hunters and salvage operators who specialise in underwater searches for historic artefacts. According to Ocean X, the formation has an appearance of rough granite, and is 3 to 4 metres thick and approximately 60 metres in diameter. The anomaly stands on an 8 metre tall pillar-like feature, and is located at a depth of 80 to 90 metres. During one of their expeditions, it was reported the divers exploring the anomaly said their equipment stopped working as they approached it. Professional diver Stefan Hogburn said, Anything electrical out there as well as the satellite phone stopped working when we were above the object. When we got away about 200 meters, it turned on again, and when we got back over the object, it didn't work. Those who believe this to be a UFO has said this is a common case of UFO interference. UFOs have been notorious for stopping automobiles at close range. These effects are not limited to automobiles, but occur with all kinds of vehicles that are powered by internal combustion engines. Incidents of engine interference or failure have been reported for aircraft, motorcycles, trucks, buses and other farm machinery. In all cases, the engines ran normally after the UFO had departed. The Ocean X team reported on their second expedition that they'd found something that looks like a staircase and a round black hole that goes directly into the structure. The mystery surrounding the unknown objects at the bottom of the Baltic Sea deepened when geologist Steve Weiner said that according to his tests, the object was not a geological formation, suggesting that the structure was in fact made from metals which nature could not reproduce. The two divers had never witnessed such an incredible spectacle in over 20 years of underwater research. They compared the size of this object to a passenger plane. It was also mentioned by the pair that the trail leading towards the unknown object kind of suggests it was some sort of possible crash, and this thing had somehow skidded along the sea floor. Outside of the object on the surface, the researchers have also reported seeing unusual carvings, almost like unnatural looking shapes. The unknown object sits at a depth of 90 meters, and waters in the area are always muddy, factors that make it virtually impossible to film or photograph the site. A former Swedish naval officer speculated that the sonar image could show the remains of a World War II German anti-submarine device, while others have considered that it could be a damaged gun turret from an old battleship. Lindbergh acknowledges that the object could instead be a natural formation, such as a meteorite that penetrated the ice during the Ice Age, or an underwater volcano. However, he gives the impression that scientists are baffled by it. Geologists, for example, have supposedly told him the object cannot be a volcano. The divers recently gave samples of stone from the objects to a professor of geology at Stockholm University. Swedish tabloids quote him as saying, I was surprised when I researched the material. I found a great black stone that could be a volcanic rock. My hypothesis is that this structure was formed during the Ice Age, many thousands of years ago. In other words, an expert appears to back up their claims that the seafloor object is unexplained, and perhaps is an Atlantis-like ancient building complex. However, after being consulted, neither he or any other experts contacted about the Baltic Sea object think there's anything mysterious about it. He explains that the samples are exactly what one would expect to see in a glacier basin, which is what the Baltic Sea is, a region carved out by glacier ice long ago. Along with the rocks, the divers also gave him a single loose piece of basaltic rock, a type of rock that forms from hardened lava. This is out of place on the sea floor, but not unusual. 
He states the whole northern Baltic region is so heavily influenced by glacial thawing processes. Both the feature and the rock samples are likely to have formed in connection with glacial and post-glacial processes. Possibly these rocks were transported there by glaciers. But there are some who believe